Hello and welcome to Favorite Rugby on Favorite Sports. For today's preview, Wales versus South Africa, the first game of Saturday's Summer Nations series and uh, the return of Springbok action, uh, the final one of two games before the Rugby World Cup gets underway. Three weeks, we'll actually be within three weeks by the time this game does start. So really are into, uh, you know, that really, uh, you know, the calm before the storm, I suppose, is the, is the best way to put it. And uh, this is an important game for the Springboks because we've gone with a very strong side. And um, the, the time for excuses are over. You know, it's now about showing exactly the type of form and exactly where we are going into the World Cup. So we cannot afford to 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 create excuses for bad performances and stuff like that. We're playing against a Welsh side, which is still pretty experimental. Lots of good players in this Welsh side. And they are a team which generally do quite well to nullify the box game plan. It's always quite usually quite a tight game and not particularly open. Um, but... Regardless of that, it's it's time for performance, you know, isn't it? You know, we've, we've now had the opportunity to experiment. We've had the opportunity to look at different um, players and combinations in the last sort of four games. Now is the time to start putting, you know, the, the icing on the cake ahead of our first game against Scotland uh, over in September. Now, before we look at the two teams, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Of course, we will be live for this game. So come and join me for uh, the watch long on Saturday. We'll have plenty of build up. We'll have a hopefully have a pre game show, half time show, fan cams, player ratings will be up and going, and uh, it's going to be you know the standard coverage as we sort of really build our momentum into the World Cup. But uh, in terms of the teams, so Wales and uh, Jack Morgan will captain the side, and it is still quite an experimental side. A lot of inexperience scattered amongst the squad, and I think Warren Gatton is still probably quite far away from his final 23 and final starting 15. Uh, come to the World Cup, and he's still looking for a bit of information, I think, on certain players. Uh, so if you look at the front row, for example, uh, next to no experience, or international experience, rather, from the likes of Corey Domachowski and Kieran Azarati, uh, both of them less than five test caps. So Elliot D, in between them, will have to carry a lot of the experience when it comes to uh, that starting front row. Ben Carter will uh, partner Will Rowlands, who gets to that very important 25 cap mark. And uh, as you saw, sort of as they look to make sure they continue to play for Wales, despite not being playing in Wales next year. Um, and uh, then you've got a very good loose trio of Dan Lydia, Jack Morgan, Aaron Rainwright. Probably for me, their strongest um, aspect of the team is, is that loose trio. I, I think all three players are fantastic players. Jack Morgan, captain aside for the second time, could be early indication that he is potentially set to captain him at the World Cup itself. Um, so, so a big moment for him. And uh, the halfback pairing, Kieran Hardy comes into the starting lineup, as does Dan Bigger. Uh, so those two will start against the box. Dan Bigger, I mean, there's not much more to say about him. Well over 100 tests, um, played for the British Irish Lions, and uh, likes to play against the screen box. You know, last year, uh, I thought I had quite a good series, and was sort of the front of, of a Welsh side, which managed to get under the screen box skin. They managed to really front up and uh, and really put the screen box off a little bit in the first two tests in that tour last year. So And, and he'll be very important in terms of doing that on uh, Saturday. Uh, Rio Dyer as Cuthbert, the two wings. Cuthbert versus um, Jason Colby should be quite interesting. Very big winger. In fact, both uh, the, the, the back line for Wales much bigger than the back line for South Africa. Uh, so you reckon that the, the high balls and, and the kicking game will be very important there. Um, Liam Williams at full back, one of the best um, and players in the world under the high ball. And then two very big centers in the likes of Johnny Williams and Mason Grady. Uh, who will be up against Damien Delindy and Jesse Creel. Uh, look at the bench. Sam Perry, Nicky Smith, Henry Thomas will cover the front row. Uh, Teddy Williams, Tane Basham, Thomas Williams, Max Lewin, and Kai Evans also on debut. So lots of, uh, with, 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 the, with the exception of the likes of Tane Basham and Thomas Williams, not a lot of experience coming off the bench. So um, you do think if, if, if the box can get themselves well ahead, um, they've got a lot of experience coming off their bench. They should have definitely have enough to sort of put Wales away. This is the box side. The big news, obviously, is Sia Khaleesi is back. He will captain the side and start in number six jersey. Uh, in the front row, Stephen Kitsov, Malcolm Marks, France Moherber will continue to be uh, the starting combination that they have uh, we have seen during sort of the big matches so far this season. John Klain gets another opportunity in the number four jersey. He will partner Arkes Neyman, who's got the first go at, uh, at having sort of really proved that he can deputise for... for um, Lord Diago Marvin, we got an opportunity two weeks ago, but you now start to think in the last final two games, it's about seeing exactly who will in fact start ahead of Lord Diago or instead of Lord Diago. Uh, the loose trio is the Ecclesi Pierce Death the Toy, and then Jasper Vitz gets an opportunity. Uh, hopefully, he really can get some, some ball in hand and get him really running. He's back in Europe where he's been so good over the last couple of years. So, hopefully, he can bring that European form. And then Jaden Hendrickson will get his first uh, Springbok minutes this year. Uh, he'll partner Monty Liebach. So very interesting to see where Hendrickson is because I think if he plays well, he could very well find himself in that 23 
against Scotland. Uh, the two weeks, Shedden Colby will don the number 11 jersey. Not where we're used to seeing him, but very much looking at combinations. And that allows us to once again unleash Caden Moody on the back of a man-of-the-match performance against Argentina. The, the centers will be Damien Delende and Jesse Creel. Billy Lou, um, will start at full back. Off the bench, it is a 6-2 split. Bongi Manambi, Oxen Che, who returns from a pectoral injury, as well as Vincent Koch. Then you've got Franco Mastard, Marco Verstappen, and Dwayne Vermeulen completing that sort of the, the six of the 6-2 split. Grant Williams gets another opportunity after their concussion. Damien Willemser, as of course, will be number 23 jersey, and it is pretty much the big reason why we can go with this 6-2 split. Uh, it's two good sides. It's a box side which has got so much experience, so much power, that they really need to go and make a bit of a statement. Yes, they are playing it away. They are playing in Cardiff, um, and so it's never easy there. But you are the world champions. You are about to start your title defense, and you need to go out and start making a couple of statements, start building the momentum that we need going into the World Cup. Uh, let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll chat to you soon.